hobbyists, collectors, and pro heads alike, I want to welcome you to my channel, Predator Collectibles. Now, if you are by any chance new to my channel, I am your host, Glenn and Taylor. We take a look at anything underneath the Predator franchise that is collectible that you can put into your home, whether it be action figures, comic book statues, prop replicas. Now, in today's video, I figured we would focus on a company that most people may not be aware of when it comes to Predator Collectibles. I know in the lifespan of my channel, I have focused on NECA, Diamond Select Toys, Loyal Subjects, Funko, things of that nature. But I figured, let's focus on Metacom. Metacom is a Japanese-based manufacturer of soft vinyl toys and plastics. Uh, they started back in 1996, and unfortunately, I don't know if whether or not they have the Predator licensing anymore. But today's video review happens to be from a Toys R Us exclusive two-pack of the Alien vs. Predator soft vinyl line from Metacom. And this particular line came out in 1997, roughly about a year after the company had started. So it's really cool for me to have a Toys R Us exclusive, even though they're a Japanese-based company. And these are limited in number. Matter of fact, mine says number 64, but yet I'm not quite sure exactly how many of these exist, which is why I think this is really cool to have a very rare, scarce item on my channel for today's review. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Now the box of course is just very simplistic with two photographs of both the Alien and the Predator and it has a Toys R Us exclusive super cool model, pre-assembled collection, special edition. And when they say a pre-assembled, pre-painted means that they're the ones doing it and not you. So it gives you both an English and Japanese information based on the two characters. So I'm really excited to have these two in my collection, even though I don't normally collect Alien, but it's still nice to have both of them in a combo both box. We're gonna look at first the Alien because of how tall he is, and I really do like the sculpt and the width version of the Alien they chose, and based upon this, this looks to be like the Alien Warrior from the second film, James Cameron's Aliens. And I really do like the translucency of the soft vinyl. It's more of a blackish, uh, bluish color. And I really do like uh, that a lot. It does have, of course, the inner jaw like they were talking about. Now the tail does not come already attached, so you will have to attach the tail yourself. And because it's soft vinyl, it's very easy. You just plug it into the back of the figure, and there you go. The Predator is something that I was really looking forward to reviewing and based upon what you're looking at right now, he has a yellowish uh, tint to him. I'm not quite sure if the previous owner before I bought him on eBay had him in the sun. This looks to be more of a yellowish sun damage, which is unfortunate, but I also heard a lot of collectors that had uh, these kind of plastics before in the past. I think most of them, if not all of them, turned almost yellowish color. Uh, again, I don't know if that's because of it being over the years, it will turn a yellowish color regardless if you had it in the sun or not. But the design of this Predator is based off of the City Hunter from Predator 2, which I think is really, really cool and really awesome. Now, if you'll notice really quickly, he doesn't have his mouthpiece. That's because you would have to actually put that in yourself as a separate component. And the way you want to put his face is you simply hold down the two pieces and you just, really just want to plug it in as such and it fits in nice and snugly and you get an open mouth roaring pose of his mandibles and if you want to put the mask on because you do get a bio helmet which is kind of funny because the bio helmet is of the P1 uh, first movie Predator so you simply just take off the mandibles and put the bio helmet on and it's that simple. The Predator 2 cutting disc is 100% metal. And you heard me correctly, it is 100% metal. Now, the way, of course, you're gonna put the P2 disc on is simply as is designed. There's a nice, good indentation of how you will put the P2 disc onto the first two keyholes. Once you're able to hold it into the keyholes, you have a nice, good Predator 2 metal disc to put on his leg. And I really do like this Predator a lot. So there you have it. Again, we have the Alien vs. Predator Metacom soft vinyl figures. I really do like having these two in my collection, especially the Predator. I, I'm very surprised that with them being soft vinyl and the way that they're Toys R Us exclusives, that you get a 100% metal 
uh, weapon or P2 disc to go with the Predator. That I think is fantastically awesome to have that as a nice good centerpiece for the Predator. The Alien is also a nice good addition as well. Again, even though I don't really collect Alien or Xenomorphs, but it's always nice to have these two pitted against each other in a combo pack from Metacom and Toys R Us. Now Metacom has done, as I mentioned before, several other Predator-based uh, toys or collectibles like this particular uh, Bear Brick Bear Predator and the only way to have gotten that Bear Brick Bear is one of their products and that's from Pepsi Nex. It's a Asian based Pepsi product that Pepsi has manufactured only in Asia and it's N-E-X Nex. Uh, once you were able to purchase a said Pepsi Nex product or drink it actually came with this Bear Brick Bear as a keychain. So I do have that in my collection as well. I just want to basically state that I think this is a very fantastic company. I can't wait to review other products, which I want to know from you. So leave me a comment down in the comment section if you want to know more about products from Metacom and what other products they've done. And if you by any chance are a Predator fan like me, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification for when all my videos are uploaded. Again, I am very consistent. I try to do so and upload videos every Wednesday regarding Predator products or collectibles that have been produced from majority of companies, either past, present, or future. So make sure you keep it right here on my channel, Predator Collectibles, for everything you want to do as a Predator collector. And I will see you next week for my recap video at the end of the month. Happy hunting.